afternoon and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time viewing my channel please like and subscribe and if this is not your first time if this is your second third time viewing this channel thank you for always coming back and i would encourage you to recommend this page this channel to your friends and families on today's episode we're going to be talking about the important things that you should spot or that should be available in a house before you take it I'm also going to be talking about the things that should be available in your area or in your community before you decide to reside in that area. So first off, I know it's very difficult to get um, an apartment or a house in the UK generally because of the um, influx of people into the country. But just calm down. It's not going to be that stressful if you have your money with you. So first and foremost, you need to start um, calling several agents so that you can um, view out the houses that are available. I'm sure most of them would call you to come and view the houses. They are going to tell you the area. They are going to some are going to reject you. Some are going to tell you that you don't even have a source of income yet, so they cannot give you um, a place. But don't worry, you still get some agents that would that wouldn't mind. They just need um, a guarantor to do that for you. Okay, so so after your agent had called you, make sure you have somebody that can be your guarantor ready. The guarantor must have spent, um, I think, a minimum of fifteen years in England. The person has a um, mortgage already, and um, the person is working here. Even if the person has not spent up to fifteen years, the person must have had. A house here bought by himself or herself and the person must be working steadily have a steady income in england so it's very important to get that ready get that get to the house the first thing that you should check for is the energy rating of the house you don't want to spend too much on bills so you need to check the energy rating of the house is if it's between a to d it's very okay so but a is very much okay than d so you just look out for maybe a to c that's what i always advise was a to d is actually very okay but just look out for a to c it makes sense so after you've done that check the electricity provider they have um maybe gas provider they have read up on it so that you don't you, you can save money so that you can save money so when you enter because when you enter into the house you might not be comfortable with the type of electricity provider they have or gas provider you have they might be really expensive so read up on other options so that you can save yourself some cost that's very important too so another thing you need to look out for in the house is the eating system of the house because some houses are really, really, I mean, they don't even have eaters. So check if they have eaters because it's very, very essential. Check if the eater in the house is working. After you've checked that, check um, the sitting room if it's big enough for you. Check the space if it's big enough for you. Check um, the kitchen. What do they have in the house? Is it furnished or unfurnished? So... If you are going for an unfurnished apartment, at least you should meet the oven and maybe washing machine in the house. It's really important. But if it's a furnished apartment, you should meet the chairs, the tables, everything should be set. It's just for you to bring bring in your clothes. So don't let anybody now confuse you and say, oh, no, it's furnished. But because you'll be paying... Don't let anybody, if you are going for a furnished apartment, make sure that everything that the um, landlord or the agent has promised is in the house. Be sure before you make payments that everything is in the house. And if you are going for an unfurnished apartment, know that you are going to be buying things into the house. And you have to calculate that furnished apartment is going to be expensive than an unfurnished apartment so calculate what you have with you so that you can be sure if you have extra money to buy things into the house if not just go for a furnished apartment okay so after that make sure 
that the community you are going to be staying as a school around for your kids you don't want to stress yourself to go to 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 start finding schools for your children make sure there is a very good school around i've already made a post um a video about how you can get good schools for your children so make sure that maybe an outstanding rating a school that has been rated outstanding is close by to where you'll be staying also make sure that your um the place you'll be staying is very very or is really close to a bus station or a train station I would advise that it's close to a bus station and a train station because you might want to go outside your community. How do you commute if you don't have a car? And even if you have a car, there are some places you go to, there are some places you want to go to that you just want, you don't even want to drive. You just want to go, just that experience of being in a train. You just want to have that. So just make sure that that place, anywhere you'll be staying, is also really close to... A train station and also a bus station you don't have to walk for too long also make sure that the place you'll be staying is also close to a supermarket that you can just maybe stroll in or stroll out into the supermarket to get anything at any time if it's not really close to the supermarket make sure that it's really close to a bus station and the bus would always be available to take you to the supermarket so it's very important that a market at least maybe a local market is just close by that's what i would advise that you just get a a, a place where a local market is close by and you just, can just dash in and dash out also make sure that you get a place that has maybe a very good gp around what do i mean by gp um an hospital a pharmacy make sure that you have you you get your accommodation in a place like that because of any emergency, especially when you have kids, make sure that you get your accommodation close to where there is a very good GP around. Lastly, make sure that you get you make inquiries about the area before you go into because it's not the UK is very is very safe, but you can have um some minor issues of people people breaking into people's houses so you have to be sure that the area that you are going to be staying is very safe for you and your kids this will be the end of our video please invite people invite your friends invite your family members invite people that are coming into the uk especially england to like follow and share this channel thank you and bye bye